All right, what up, what up, what up? This is Most Love, a.k.a. Cameron Lane. And this right here will quickly be a demonstration on mixing. Uh, a beat specifically for right now. Um, so, yeah. We want to start out by practically putting everything into the mixer. And when it comes to kicks, you want to layer your kicks. I have, as you can see right here, I have one kick tripled you know it's the same pattern for the kick but this kick goes into the same mixer track right there now I'm gonna start out I'm gonna put all my levels well not no basically I don't know why I actually set that level okay basically what you want to do is you want to have your mix everything you want to have everything that's in the mixer at the right levels so like my, don't mind the ringtone <laughs> you see I have everything down this is basically I can't tell you how to do this right here this is just basically however you feel what you want but I can give you a tip like for your hi-hats you want to pan them to a certain side right away right or left whatever way you want it like I have mine to left a little bit you want you can uh, pan your snare if you want. I usually don't. I don't do that anymore. I just like my snares leveled from both sides. But I mean, I was told it's good to do them to the right or left a little bit. And when I do do it, I usually do it the opposite side of the hi hats. Um, one thing with your bass, you can let your bass clip because when you a little bit, well, decently, but because when you throw a master on there um, and you have the settings right, it won't basically be clipping like that anymore. And this is my two, this is actually my leads right here. They're actually the same leads because I have two NPCs going into here. But um, they're different, you know, different things. So, yeah, I have that in there. And that's basically for right now, right there, what you can do. And then when you want to mix your kicks, I uh, learned this right here. I found this. This is basically a preset that I put together myself, but I was taught how to put together. You want um, let me see, I'll play my kicks by themselves. What you want to do is you want to find a good place to put it, this right here. So you get you can find it like the, um, where the uh, bass carries a lot. And then right, this right here is for the thump. So you can feel where it, where it hits best. And that's, you know, for this right here is a good place. So this is basically how you do it. Start off with every kick, but you can move it around and change it around for different type of kicks. I'm going to have this curve down a little bit. I'll most likely put a link to this to download this uh, preset wherever you on here on the link for the video. And then also what you want to do is you want to take your lowest one right here all the way down and same with your treble and put this down there a little bit i forgot the reasons why but i just know that this is basically how to keep your kick real swaggy okay i um i don't really have a bass boost on there i used to always put bass boost on there but i mean it just makes the bass carry more i, I mean you can do it if you want now with the um also, what you want to do is when you have your kick and your sub in two different channels, you want to side chain your kick. So you click on your kick and then you go to your, your, your sub channel without clicking on it. And you right click here and you hit side chain to this track. So now it's basically in two mixers, but what it will do is whenever your sub's playing and your kick is playing, your sub will practically mute. Like it'll mute for a, like what for the endurance, endurance for the time that your kick is going. So and it makes it sound a whole lot better when your kicks, you know, when your kick is hitting. Especially in a car, in the car speakers, you can really feel that fucking kick. Um and especially because I got my little A fives over here, you know what I'm saying? A fast. I guess little is a you know right thing, but the sound that comes from them is not little. 
Now also, that's just about basically it. One thing you also want to do is if it's not a a kick or anything or anything that's really there for bass, you want to kind of turn the bass down on it. As you can see here, I did it for this too. Like now you can really hear like there's not a lot of bass going because with this for this sample here that I used and actually on this part you can it had a lot of bass. So yeah. It, now when it comes to mastering here, Maximus works pretty decent. I mean people have to talk down on it. And um the preset for it, if you use clear master, it, it works practically wonderful. But, of course, there's always this step here. You cannot forget about this. It will help a lot. You might not be able to tell right away, but it trust me, it does help a lot, especially for when you're going to master. You want to have two sends. One send has a delay in there. You can delay bank. You can, uh, I have mine, the free delay bank up, and I have it set for four. Right here, the time is on four. And then you want to have another send with the reverb two in it. Preset, use small studio preset. This works. Now you want to throw everything in here. Except you want to throw everything in first send with the delay in it Except for your kick and your sub everything else can go in there um, Also and for your reverb Everything goes in here Except for and let me revert to my tips <laughs> Everything goes in there Except for the snare. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The snare goes in the reverb. The snare goes in the reverb with everything else but the kick and the sub. The snare does not go into the delay. And that's basically it.